Hello, this is Steve from DGST Photography, and today I want to um, show you a feature on the Intuos Pro uh, tablet from Wacom. I got introduced to this tablet yesterday, and so far I'm really impressed with this tablet. I used a bamboo uh, pen and touch before this one, and uh, yeah, this this tablet is just 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 perfect um, one of the features I've been uh, playing about with is um, the panels now this is really cool and I'm, I'm still looking into uh, creating more panels and make my workflow even even faster but I posted something on Facebook and I got a few messages asking uh, how to set these up um, so let me first show you uh, what it looks like. So one of my uh, express keys uh, I set to radial menu. So when I click on this uh, express key it brings up my uh, radial menu. Let's bring this over here. And as you can see uh, one of the sections uh, is named tools, plugins, filters. These are the ones I, the, the panels I created for my workflow. So, for example, with the tools, I used to go all the way here to the left and select my tool here uh, by holding. I can bring up the other ones, and or I can just press shortcuts like B for the brush and uh, M for my key tool, that kind of stuff. Now, with this uh, with this panel in my radial menu, if I just click on tools, it brings up a new uh, radial menu with all the tools. I use the most so if I create for example a new layer now and I select a brush uh, I can basically start drawing because I selected a brush um, same with like healing brush um, I can now basically heal because I selected a healing brush and this is really really handy uh, just they're all here all I have to do is select them from here. I don't even have to look, press any shortcuts, nothing. So let's uh, let's get rid of this layer here. Right. So the other thing I've done, let's go back to my radio menu. I set up my plugins same way. So if I click on plugins, I've got all my plugins here. I need to add some more, but just to show you. And I've got my filters, all the filters I like to use, which is down here. For example, if I want to add a blur, um, right, I select my Gaussian Blur and that's it. I can do uh, Unsharp Mask, it brings it up. I can select High Pass really fast, they're all here. Of course, if there is any that I use once in a while, I can still go up to Filter and select it from here. <clears throat> but this I found really cool. And so now I want to show you how you can set this up for yourself. There's a lot of people using this tablet, this uh, Intuos Pro tablet, and um, are forgetting about this this feature. So let's go to our uh, preferences or settings. Right. So what we have to do is if we go to functions and then we go to on-screen controls. Right, so on the left side we got our panels and most of these came uh, with with the tablet when I installed it. But I created these ones like the filters, the tools and the plugins. Those are the ones I created. So if we have a look at tools, we can see that I uh, selected the tools, uh, added the tools to it with a keystroke. So for example, I know that if I press J, it's bringing up my healing brush. So for keystroke, I added J, named the healing brush, and pressed OK. And that's how I set all these up. So let's do this quickly. So I create a new one. I call it Tools, Ooh. Tools 2. And you can pick your layout. I like the radial uh, look for this. Right. And you can select the size. Let's select the big one. And then we press OK. So now we got our panel tools too. On the left side, key assignment, it's pretty much 
empty. So what we have to do now is add those keystrokes. So if we click on the first one and select keystroke, like we said, if we press J, we get we get the healing brush. And then we press OK. And another one, for example, if we press um, B, then we are selecting our brush. And then we press OK. So you do the whole list like that. Now to show you how you can add it to, um, for example, you can add it to an express key or you can add it to, um, or to your radial menu. So if we go up to radial menu and you select one that you're not using. So in this case, I'm going to select display toggle because I don't really use that. If I go to key, uh, on screen controls and select tools two and then I close this. So now if I go to my radio menu, click on it, I got my tools too. So if I select my tools too, you see these are the brushes that we just created. So create an empty layer, click on brush, and now I've got my brush. So that's how easy it is to create a panel. Um, so the other thing you can do is add your filters. Um, to these panels but as you can see your filters don't come with a shortcut you have to go to filter and select your filter unless you go to edit keyboard shortcuts and in this window here you can basically add a shortcut to your uh, filters so for example Gaussian blur I created a shortcut saying command B now, Command B was a shortcut for something else. I can't even remember. I never used a shortcut, so I'm not really bothered that I'm overwriting this. So I press Accept and press OK. And then I, when I went into my settings, um, so go to Functions on screen, I created my filters. And for example, if we have a look at the Gaussian Blur I added, Keystroke, Command B, Gaussian Blur. And that's how you can add your filters. And if you're finished, when you're finished, you have something like this. And if you pin it, so I like to have my tools up here. If you pin it, every time you open your radio menu and you click tools, your tools will be at the same place. So this is just uh, something quick to show you how you can make use of this really cool feature with this uh, interest pro tablet from Wacom. if you have any questions feel free to uh, drop me a message leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching bye